Our chief political correspondent Tom Clark is in Calgary as well tonight. Tom, what does Stephen Harper need to do and say this weekend to heal the wounds and to save his own leadership? Well, what he's got to do tonight, Donnie, in his keynote speech really is three things. First of all, he's got to rev up this party, make them feel good about themselves again, and especially their chances for re-election in 2015. He's also got to demonstrate that he still has control of the political agenda. And finally, the third thing he's got to do, he's got to say something about the Senate scandal. Now, it's not in his political DNA to apologize for anything, but he's going to have to address it because the consequences for him of not hitting Hitting it out of the park tonight are pretty severe. Uh, a lot of delegates around here are very uneasy about how the Senate scandal has been handled at the very top. And Stephen Harper can't really rely on his cabinet necessarily to pull him out of a hole. A former cabinet minister told me that the feeling around the table in his day was that if Stephen Harper stumbled and fell, not a single cabinet minister would stop to try and pick him up and put him back in his chair again. So these are these are tough days for him. As we heard in uh, Jacques Bourbeau's report, a a lot of people here are openly musing about uh, leadership. There's nothing been organized yet. There are no committees being formed or no formal applications going forward or anything. But for the very first time in his political career, Donna, Stephen Harper is facing a challenge. And for the first time, the Conservative Party is contemplating a future without Stephen Harper. And that's got to be weighing on his mind tonight. Pretty serious stuff. Tom Clark in Calgary for us. Thank you. And for more on how the Senate scandal is casting a shadow over the Tory convention, you can visit our website, globalnews.ca.